What's going on guys? Welcome to another video and today we will learn on how to calculate distance in AppSheet. So as we all know, there is no way of calculating distance in AppSheet natively. So we will be doing a mix of scripting and API. So this is the, going to be the free method that I'll be sharing with you. And there'll be more other series regarding this uh, using, uh, say for example, Google Maps or Waze. So there is a lot of use for distance calculation and this would help mostly for operations or logistics that requires traveling or planning. So by, by that being said, and without further ado, let's check it out. Okay guys, so first of all, uh, as you can see on my screen, we have a sample data table. Um, right now, I have the unique ID, start, destination, and distance. So distance is where we will calculate the difference in terms of uh, distance from the start destination till the end, where it's supposed to end up with. Okay, so moving on to app sheet. Uh, as usual, let's check the data type to make sure everything's in order. So the most important part is for the start and destination columns to be uh, in address data type. And we have distance in decimal. Okay. Now to calculate the distance between two points, a and b we need to use uh, app script for this case so if you go to automation um, let's say this is the calculate distance uh, bot and for the new event is new data entry and of course, we want to make sure that this is happening for the distance table and happens for only the ads and updates only. And the conditions, the condition is true, right? Means it's regardless or whatever. Then we want to run this process, which is uh, execute the script execute script okay so we are going to call we'll be calling a script all right so i've actually uh, created a uh, script called distance so for you guys don't worry uh, all you need to do is in your google drive for example head on to new more and you will find Google Apps Script here in the menu. And once you click and create the script, you will then need to use this script that I'm showing you on screen. And this script, uh, I will be providing it in the description down below. And if you are using the same data structure as shown in my tutorial, you can disregard this line item. If you are, however, changing it, so you are, or you, if you're using a different column structure, just make sure you change the numbering sequence and I've added uh, comments for your reference. Okay. As for the rest, say you, you have this script done. Don't forget to save the project and give the necessary um, permission for the script to run. Here, in fact, you will have to provide the permission since I've given mine. So here it will mention the script will be executed as myself. And for function name, since the script has one function called update distance, you may select that. And in function parameters, you want to make sure that this is actually referring to the distance column. All you need to do is just click here and select distance and insert. All right. 
And another part for the bot is to make sure we allow the return value and to be in number or decimal. So, um, sorry, number, and you can set as decimal, which is fine. But the return value allows the API to collect the or compute the distance and write into the distance column. Okay, so this will be the overall setup for the bot to calculate the distance. Okay, for the script that I've shown earlier, you will have to add and make sure you are using your own spreadsheet ID. So spreadsheet ID is where you can get it from your Google Docs, oh sorry, your spreadsheet, where you will find your ID here in the URL right after the D slash uh, value. And as shown in on screen, the one highlighted is actually my ID. And of course, uh, for the API key, you will be using, or I'm using actually at the moment, I am using the open route service. All you need to do is to head on to openroutservice.org. I will include the link as well in the description of the video. And go to plans. And you will find, uh, you can try to use the free here, which is the standard. And you will find, and you can actually see the difference between the, the plans that we, they have. And once you have that, simply sign up for the API and use that API in the script as shown. So make sure you have both of this ready. And as long as you have the sheet name correct, which is distance, then this script will run and it will uh, compute the distance. So let's give it a try. Say for example, I am actually adding a new, uh, say distance data. So start would be, uh, let's say Zoo Negara, which is the national zoo for Malaysia. And the destination to travel from Zoo Negara would be the KLCC Twin Tower. All right. So once I click save, focus here, you will see, you will then see the distance calculated, which is 11.61 kilometers. So to validate that, so in Google Maps, I can actually see the distance is slightly far off, which is 11.8 kilometers. Uh, depending on the routes taken. So the estimate distance travel it, traveling uh, to travel from Zoo Negara, which is the National Zoo of Malaysia, is 11.8, according to Google Maps, and according to the app, is 11.61. So more or less, it's similar. So you can give this a try as long as you follow the steps and structure for first time you should be fine so i hope you guys enjoyed the video so again distance calculation is an interesting feature to have in your app if required and don't forget that this means there's endless ways of how we can actually utilize api and scripting in appsheet and this is one of the ways and there'll be more use cases that i'll be sharing with you in the next video or in the future and don't forget to drop a like and please subscribe if you haven't so that you might find more contents like this in the future. And don't forget to drop your comments on what else you would like to see in the next video. I'm Aris Azaha. Thank you very much for your time and I hope to see you guys in the next video. So take care. Bye-bye.